And they put a fun fact about me. Fun fact, um, he can't stand people eating apple next to him. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's not just me, right? When somebody in the room and it's silent and somebody starts eating an apple, raise your hands if you get slightly, at least slightly annoyed. Okay, yes, yes. I knew I was not alone in this. Okay, um, so I was, uh, I gotta tell you, uh, this is a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure for, uh, for me to deliver a, a talk, kind of comedic talk to a, a sober audience. It's very tough, and um, actually, let, let's check it. Please raise your hands, those, all those who are sober right now. <laughs> yes, like 15%. I personally thank the early birds. Thank you very much. You, you, you make my day. So um, anyway, I, got, I just want to tell you that this is a very uh, kind of chaotic talk. It's full of chaos and random ideas. I was actually hesitating what to talk about. Some of the exciting things that happened this year, I was thinking um, maybe I could highlight the uh, advances in artificial intelligence or the fact that we announced that we're going to colonize Mars or the fact that this year I found a parking spot near the American University for the first time, yes. Um, you know, all equally important things, but then I thought I would just, uh, I just gang up a couple of observations that I've made over the year, and it's just random, no logic between them whatsoever, just some of the things that I have to do as part of my job, observe people, your people, by the way, so I observe you when you're not watching, and I, I make some, some observations. Yeah, I, I have them written down. I'll be radically honest, as our slogan is, so um, there will be a lot of honesty there. Um, well, I noticed that um, we use a lot, a lot the phrase, Armenians are the smartest nation. Do you have friends who use that? Yeah? Yes. Two, two, two people, you know, no people. Well, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that uh, a lot of you have had these friends, and I like every everybody's using that, and especially I think it's it's weird. I mean, um, I'm sorry, S step back. It's true. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not, but you know, it's usually uh, it's weird when somebody says that and supports his or her argument with, well, we're the smartest nation, you know, Kardashians are Armenian, or share. And stuff like that. That's a little weird. I think we should use that slogan on Zavart Notes so that tourists, when they come and it's like plastered all over Zavart Notes and they see Armenians, we're welcome to the smartest nation. And they're like blown away. Oh my God, where the hell am I? And then they get into a taxi and, you know, <laughs> things change. Um, I noticed that it's kind of weird how people sometimes say, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you, especially when they say it 30 minutes into the conversation. Like, you, you've been talking for 30 minutes and suddenly, suddenly, the person decides, you know, screw everything. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm done bullshitting you. That's it. I'm done. I'm going to be honest with you. And then you expect something and usually he says, that's a nice tie. And then you think, seriously, you had to ruin your credibility just for something like that. That's a nice tie. Save it for something really important. I think our government should use that a lot. Um, say, you know, every time they say something on TV, like our economy is doing great, everything in the country is doing great, but I'll be honest with you, it's not. <laughs> I think that's where it fits. Then I think that um, I noticed that it's weird that a lot of the things are more appreciated when it's done by little babies. Like when they're eating ice cream. Like when a four-year-old is eating an ice cream, everybody's like, oh my god, a four-year-old eating an ice cream, look at that! And everybody's excited. Meanwhile, when I eat ice cream, and I gotta tell you, I, I eat ice cream much, much better than a four-year-old. Trust me. You can try me. Buy me ice cream and I'll just... I'll destroy that, much better than a four-year-old. But nobody cares, nobody cares. Same with piano players. You know, uh, when a little baby is playing a piano, everybody's like, oh my God, with his tiny hands playing the piano. But when a middle-aged person is playing a piano, everybody's like, okay, that's a grown-up. He's, he's supposed to play the piano, that's, that's fine. Excitement is out there. And um, I, uh, so that's a little weird. Then 
I noticed another weird thing that with time, after you try Ajaran Khachapuri in Yerevan, have you tried Ajaran Khachapuri? Yeah, well, there are some, some places that have good Ajaran Khachapuri, some places that have sometimes good, sometimes bad Ajaran Khachapuri. Usually it's just, you know, it's, it's random. You never know, you never know. So there are places that are sometimes good, and there are places that are always bad. I tend to prefer stability recently. I go for the bad one, because you know for sure you're not going to have any disappointment there. So whenever I have a choice, I tend to go to the bad Ajaran Khachapuri place, just to avoid that, you know, that potential risk of disappointment. I used to have a lot of friends who, who, who would say, oh, you don't need money to be happy. You know, there's, there's always people saying, you don't really need money to be happy. And I had a lot of friends like that. And then suddenly, they stopped saying that. All the people that used to say that, I knew from student times, they just stopped saying that. And I assume they tried. They tried being happy without money, and they didn't really like it. Then, so now they're back on track, and they're just silent about how to be happy without money. Um, I noticed that I, some of the phrases that people are using have no way of, uh, of ending well. You hear the beginning and you know it's going to end in a disaster. Like a phrase, generally, I'm not anti-Semitic, but, but, and you know, whatever is said is going to be terrible and anti-Semitic. Same with phrases like that, you know, I think, I think murder is unethical. However, you know, whatever the person is saying is going to justify that. Or, generally, stealing votes is bad, but... You know who says that, you know when they say that, uh, say that and uh, that's a weird part of our reality. Uh, I've, I've seen some, I've been to some uh, weddings this year and I noticed that there's a very peculiar Armenian way of wishing happiness. They tell the girl, usually Anushik or something, they say, I wish you to be the happiest. The happiest. They don't say I wish you to be happy. Because being happy for Anushik is not enough. They want to make sure that 7 billion people on the planet are less happy than Anushik. They want to make sure that Anushik is happy in their face. Okay? That's how much they love Anushik. So that's how much happiness they wish her. I noticed that Armenian unofficial slogan that people are using generally about the country, it, se it seems like it's taken from a Thai massage salon. <laughs> it's going to end well. And it, it's weird because, uh, you know, when the massage is performed by the government, you never really know if it's going to end well. Um, I noticed some weird stuff about fairy tales that we're taking from Europe. You know, we're, we're doing pretty good with Europe recently. But Red Little Riding Hood, I think it's kind of artificially implanted here. It would never really, it's not supposed to work here because, you know, um, Ar Armenian granddaughters, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they can tell their grandma from a wolf, right? When they get into the 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 bed, the, the apartment where the grandma is lying and it's a wolf, I'm pretty sure an Armenian granddaughter would say, Oh, that, that's a wolf. I mean we, we can tell, I can tell my grandmother from a wolf most of the time. So our, it's it shouldn't work here. And especially when they go and the uh, the little girl red riding hood says, um, oh grandma. What a big nose. An Armenian granddaughter would never say that. She would never say, because to her, it's, it's just a nose. She would just get into a room with a big bad wolf and would say, hey, grandma, what a regular nose. What a regular great Armenian emotional eyes. You know, that, that shouldn't be so surprising for an Armenian audience, but that still somehow works. That's weird, and that, that's what I noticed. Um, I noticed that sometimes the weirdest criticism and reaction you get from the least expected place. Like, would you expect or imagine the French embassy to complain about a satiric program and ask not to joke about certain things? Would you? Would you? Well, um, I mean, you would expect that from Turk the embassy of Turkmenistan, 
which they did also. I'm not saying they didn't, but sometimes it's really weirdly coming from places with full of egalité, liberté, and uh, the other brotherly love, yeah, fraternité. So some of these weird things. And now coming back to corruption. Um, corruption, we have to be very attentive, and whenever there is a chance that we can prevent corruption, we should prevent corruption. See, corruption is not fun. Not even here. Corruption is not funny. So let's get to serious work and tackle corruption seriously. Thank you very much.